Hello and welcome. So in today's video we are going to be doing lab 44 that is enforcing password policies. This again I have done before. We're going to just quickly go into ah if you want to follow you along on your machine here are the instructions. And here are the rest of them. All right, so let's get started. I've already taken the liberty of launching the uh, server manager. Again, tools and active directory users and computers. But this time, it's group policy management. My bad. So group policies where all the policies that either you can create new one, attach, or uh, or I think delete as well. Of course, you can delete the default one, but I'm pretty sure that you can delete the one that you create. So, forest, what we can do is under the forest, you certify domain again, you certify, and then group policy object. So, domain so forest can have many domains. You certify live and group policy objects. So these are the two. We're gonna go in further in, and do we have default default domain policy? Okay. So there is not a standalone uh, software uh, password policy, but we have the default one, and I believe authenticated user that is the filtering. If we go to detail setting delegation status, let's see. <coughs> Now we're going to click on this and we can click on edit. From here you can see group policy management editor. So in here Oh again. That's been a while. Uh and so especially with the corporate environments uh, you have a portal you actually don't log into and don't mess in mess in here like I mentioned it will be only where um, like some smaller computers on corporate you have a portal you make your changes there and it's replicated here <clears throat> it's been like three years since I played around here all right so computer configuration policies windows Computer configuration, policies, Windows settings, security setting, account policies. So security settings and account policies. account policies and there is your password policy you can double click it and it will tell you if you remember from uh, maybe two days ago we looked something similar there was policies as well now that was for the login uh, log on policy and all that this one is the actual password policy so password history is that it will remember 24 previous passwords this is to prevent uh, the Age. So, for example, uh, you have, a, for example, you want your users to change passwords, and you don't want them to reuse the old password. And if you put like three password, remember, so user will figure it out, and they will quickly change password three times back to the old one because they don't wanna. Uh, change and deal with the memorization of new ones so this one is a big number for that reason uh, the maximum password age is 42 days uh, it, it depends uh, uh, from department to department or corporate policy uh, the default I've seen mostly is 90 days 
I have worked uh, somewhere where it was six months and then a year as well so it, it really define like how secure the system is or what how they want their uh, if it's like they get too many tickets for uh, password related issues then they are a little bit relaxing uh, with the uh, this policies the minimum password age is one day that is to enforce that nobody can change their password 24 times in a single day now this user will have to actually if by this policy it will take 24 days with each day password change until the user is able to use the old password uh, the first very first one on the 25th uh, time or day minimum password length is seven characters by default it's eight but that's no longer secure uh, at least now it should be they say 10 to 12 I would say 12 at least password must meet complexity requirement is enabled that it checks it's one thing is just a guideline but uh, if you make it enable it will enforce it the guideline would be a uppercase character uh, so if it's enforced then it will make you force the user to put a uppercase letter into password field when they are changing if it's just a guideline and it's this policy is disabled right here this one what will happen is that the system will prompt the user to put a um, uppercase but it will accept even if all, everything all lowercase stop password using reversible encryption uh, it, this is disabled but this is something like you uh, the password is stored in a state which can be reverted meaning uh, the difference between hashing and the uh, standard encryption so hashing you have a hash of a value and uh, you cannot reverse it you cannot reverse a hash uh, the reversible encryption basically is like AES or, or triple D something so that is that you can reverse it with a key and it will give you the actual uh, original text So it's asking to change the password policy. Double click enforce password history. And we're gonna change it to 10 days. Oh, sorry, 10, 10 passwords. Now this is the part where my evaluation will be done, I believe. Remove the, click okay, I did. Remove the maximum password age policy so right click and I believe unclick uncheck minimum password age it's it's prompting me the same it says no define now if you do this the other one automatically unchecks and this is it we're gonna go check it and hopefully it will be green it is you can submit your task now I'm gonna evaluate it <clears throat> so while it's doing I hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and I will try to fix whatever the uh, minimum password length is not changed to 12 all right see I told you that uh, the now it's really 12.